Hello, welcome back to another video on Vedic Astrology. This time I am going to speak about the connection that Vedic Astrology has with Ayurveda, the science of health. In ancient India, Astrology and Ayurveda coexisted. Whenever you go to an Ayurvedic doctor, he might look at you and tell that uh, if you are thin, then he may say that you are a Vata person and uh, if you are a little bit uh, in between, being fat and thin, then you would probably uh, call you as a pitta person. And if you are very bulky, maybe uh, more than 90 kgs, then uh, that pers then the doctor is going to tell that you are a kapha person. And then the other part is that all these three doshas, you are not actually uh, a one particular type all through your life. Ayurveda will say that you are a vata, uh, prakriti. Prakriti means that uh, is your basic nature. You are born with it and uh, that's permanent. So that's something which is not going to change. Vikriti is something else which means that uh, what is your uh, humor right now? Are you right now a vata person or a pitta person or a kapha person? So that's the point. Based on the effects of transit, uh, your body type might uh, change. For example, I have always noticed that uh, during seven and a half year Saturn phase, a person becomes more vata in nature and uh, that could be temporary, but let's say the person is already by prakriti also uh, is a vata person, then it can aggravate. So, in this video, I'm going to just focus on vata. If uh, you are used to the, uh, the Hindu way of worshipping goddess Mahalakshmi, you might have chanted or recited the 108 names of Mahalakshmi, and it starts with Om Prakritya Namaha, Om Vikritya Namaha. So, these two words are the basic Ayurvedic terms of health, prakriti is your very very nature and uh, vikriti is what you are right now. So in a very subtle way the ancient people have expressed this point that wealth is obtained only if there is health. The three main planets for Vata, leading number one is Saturn, the other one is Rahu, the third one is Mercury. Most people may put a question mark on this, is it true that Mercury is connected to Vata? Yes it is. There's lots of proofs from Bhagavad Sutra to all the classical textbooks there is the link with Vata but it is in the third level. But the primary, the first one is of course Saturn. So let's do a simple case study. If this is the ascendant and then you have Saturn here, this person will suffer from Vata. Now, vata diseases vata actually means uh, slowing down or Saturn represents the cold. So cold and Saturn represents dryness. Uh, ice itself is in a dry form, like in winter. So, Saturn represents uh, anything that slows you down. Maybe arthritis, maybe uh, physically uh, challenged, lots of trouble due to constipation. So, people having this combination usually get into piles and fistula. And uh, this can also mean colon. So, whenever there is trouble, it is better that one uh, goes through a uh, regular checkup for all these diseases and Saturn in the first house has the maximum influence or the trouble through Vata. Now this is uh, this is Saturn in the first house but then you can have Saturn in the first house like this then you can have Saturn in the first house this way so you can have 12 types of Saturn in the first house so each one will obviously be different and this would be the worst case and this might be the best one. So if you have Lagna here and then Saturn sitting here because Saturn is exalted you will find that uh, you will not be actually troubled by Vata. To that extent as much as this person is this will be 100% and this might be just about 10%. In the same way you can find uh, Saturn here own host status and then here but remember this is not the final test you need to check the strength of Saturn, if this Saturn is really very weak in Shadbala, very very weak, then this will be a big trouble. And let's say if this Saturn in your Shadbala is weak, it can happen sometimes, it's a mistake to think that an exalted planet will be strong in Shadbala too, because uh, exaltation is just one aspect of Shadbala. So there's no guarantee that if Saturn is exalted, in Shadbala it is very strong, so you need to check this out. And the same way here also. So anywhere, what whenever you want to, whenever you want to know the real strength of planets, always you must check the uh, Shadbala. 
Let's do another case study. If this is the Ragna and then you have Saturn here and uh, let's say Mercury here, it's possible. Maybe even the Sun is here, but we don't really care about that in this uh, topic. So let's say Saturn and Mercury are here and uh, Rahu is here, so which is the seventh house. So the seventh house is the specific house of Vata, connected to Vata disease. And in general also the seventh house is related to Vata. So here it aggravates further because Rahu is also a Vata planet and it is sitting right here. And uh, it, since they are mutually aspecting each other, this can be real trouble from the diseases of Vata. This person can have uh, you know, constipation most of the time maybe having lots of colon problems or intestinal problems, possibility of appendicitis, maybe the, the appendix operation is already done and uh, it can uh, you know, really make the person have dry skin and uh, maybe dandruff and uh, um, tooth decay and uh, bone and joint related problems, the nervous problems etc. You can, you can understand from this uh, how Saturn is linked how you can actually determine from the horoscope what is the type of uh, the prakriti. There are other ways of knowing if you are a Vata person. One is uh, by the positions of planets. It's uh, not only Saturn is involved with this, there are other planets. Other peculiar combinations are also uh, listed uh, are said to uh, cause Vata disease, uh, which might be a surprise. So let me tell you one by one. Saturn the first, Saturn the sixth is very strong. Saturn the sixth means you can have sudden shooting pain in your intestine. Uh, it can really be bothersome. Rahu in the eighth is also uh, said to cause uh, Vata. This is as per uh, Sage Brugu. Strangely, uh, Sage Brugu also says that Moon in the third house can also cause Vata. We have no idea on how Moon got connected to Vata, but in this case he says yes. The other combinations are Mars in the twelfth and uh, Venus in the first house. Venus is actually a uh, primary Kapha planet, but sometimes can become the problem, uh, can may be connected to Vata, in which case there could be kind of, you know, problems through the kidneys, the stones in the kidney, because stones is always related to uh, Saturn and uh, Venus is that area where the water is there. So sometimes you will find that planets are not perfectly one type, there must be, there might be certain other uh, connections. So. In reality, we are not only just one basic type, we can be a mixture of two humors. But the best uh, thing that you can do is, uh, after getting an opinion from your Ayurvedic doctor, it's always better to also consult an astrologer and see if his findings match your horoscope. And the other idea is that the Ayurvedic doctor also uh, learns Vedic astrology, so he himself can do this. And uh, in Brihat Parashara Parashastra, uh, Maharshi Parashara says if the seventh lord is in the first house, then also the person can be afflicted by Vata disorders. And in the same way he says if the seventh lord is in the seventh, then also the person can actually be uh, suffering from Vata diseases, in which case he will remain as a Vata Prakriti and that will be the main problem that is going to go through. Another way to use astrological wisdom is that if you are already troubled by Saturn and then there is the uh, Ashtamashani or Sound of your Saturn period going on then you will become more and more of a Vata person really disturbing your career and life. In conclusion, I would like to say that Saturn, by observing Saturn, the, by learning more about the nature of Saturn, you can understand everything about Vata disease. Uh, the simplest way of uh, knowing which disease is connected to Saturn, just think about Saturn as the planet that can slow you down, so any problem in your physical body can slow you down is always attributed to Saturn. I hope this, uh, this video has been interesting to you and uh, I am planning to do a lot more videos on this topic. This is my favorite topic uh, because I always felt that astrology must be connected to Ayurveda somehow because health is wealth. Until my next video, goodbye.